Welcome back to The Blissful Athlete, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sri Nitha Drinananda, and I'm an ordained Nithananda Yoga Acharya by my guru, Bhagavan Sri Nithananda Paramashivam. Now, I don't always show off my body to the camera, but when I do, it's because I just completed 21 days of a liquid fast. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the 21-day liquid diet that I just completed and how I'm going to be progressing towards the 108 days total of liquid diet that I am currently on. But first, if you don't know me, my background and who I am, I'm actually a former professional ice hockey player. And ever since retiring from the game, I've become so engulfed in the path of being a yogi and exploring the potential of the human body and our consciousness. And so since retiring from the game of hockey, I've always still had a connection and love for sport and the and the world of athletics in general and this past weekend i actually got to round off this 21 days of my liquid diet during a conference called the omni athlete which was an incredible happening if you are an athlete or you know somebody that is an athlete and they're starting to explore their consciousness their spirituality or they want to bring the two worlds together then i highly recommend checking out the omni athlete website and the conferences that they conduct once each year it was absolutely amazing and during that conference i even got to experience some of these groundbreaking technologies such as neural optimal training shout out to angela martinucci she has recovered from stage three cancer due to this technology or at least in part to this technology while i was there at the on the athlete conference i got to be a part of one of the most advanced eeg based technologies on the market that's a mouthful i know and what it was was basically it works directly on your central nervous system it's a technology that it monitors the electromagnetic activity of your brain and it can produce an audio feedback in real time in milliseconds of what's happening in your brain so basically you can follow and use this technology every day you can check in once a week and see the feedback and see what's happening in your brain and see how meditation can directly help you out and for angela she was somebody that recovered from stage three cancer with the support of this technology and it's absolutely amazing so if you want to check that out and learn more about that you can go to mindbalance.com i'm not affiliated to her in any way i don't make any money in this at all it is just a technology that i love and want to support and see grow especially in the athletic community now with that being said whether you're an athlete or not you came here to understand what a liquid diet is about it's really the consistency of my meals has been so huge there's nothing else i can say to you that has helped me more than understanding when my body is in need of food or when it's in need of liquids and really just trusting that and aligning to that now if you're like everybody else basically on the planet your digestive fire your agni is most high it's most intense when the sun is basically at its highest as well which is around noon and during that time that's when you should be consuming the most liquids because your body's going to be craving that fuel the most at that time and so what my schedule is is i'm consuming the bulk of my liquids between 11 and 2 o'clock so 11 a.m and 2 p.m i'm usually getting around three bowls of soup at least during that time and i am consuming foods or liquids sorry um, in the later evening and in the morning before that but the bulk of what i'm doing or the bulk of my consumption is between that time frame and i can't stress enough if you are doing a liquid diet of always making sure that your your stomach is is at least a little bit full whether that's with water or some sort of juice but especially during that time where the agni is most high so just imagine like your body is burning so much fuel throughout the day but even more so during the time where there's the most heat which is obviously coming from the sun during noon or during that time where the sun is right above us so i can't stress enough making sure that you're consuming a lot of your liquids during that time now the second thing that i can attribute the success of my first 21 days to is meal planning and preparation so for instance this omni athlete conference that i went to was in san francisco which was a six eight hour drive away and during that time during the conference i 
didn't want to rely on the foods that they provided because one, I didn't know if they would be organic and two, are they really gonna provide the, the, the sources that I need while I'm on my liquid diet? Well, obviously the odds are probably not. So what I did was I prepped and I cooked, I can't remember exactly how many bowls of soup, how many pots of soup that I prepared and stored in glass bottles and jars. And I took all of those with me on my trip. And so I had four or five different glasses or bottles of soup for each day that I could have just in case whenever I needed to, to eat or consume my liquids. So the preparation was really key and really important for me. So if you're doing a liquid diet, there's no doubt that I know you can do it, but really understanding the times where it's most important for you to be consuming your liquids and preparing for those moments as well. And if you do those two things, then I can guarantee basically that you're gonna set yourself up for success. It's not a guarantee that you will be successful and there's no really success or failure in this process at all because as soon as you make the decision to try a liquid diet, you're progressing and thus you're moving forward. So there's no such thing as failure. But that being said, those are two things that I really do recommend you keep yourself aware of as you move forward on your liquid diet journey. And of course, I ain't done. <laughs> I'm going on 100 straight eight days. And actually, today is actually day 23 of my 108 day liquid diet. And so I'm already well on my way. I'm still feeling good. I'm still doing my yoga. I'm still doing my evening exercises. So everything's going good. And if you wanna follow along with me more closely on this journey, I recommend following me on Instagram actually at Blissful Athlete and you can even message me directly, send me a DM there and I will get back to you and really hopefully share and help you along your liquid diet as well if you're choosing to do though. And so I'll wrap up this video there. If you want to learn more about the Omni Athlete Conference or with Neuro Optimal Training, again, I have no affiliation with these two companies. I, I don't make any money at all. I'm just a big supporter of uh, these two movements. I think it's really important that we do start to incorporate technology and consciousness and for me sport as well. And so if you know anybody that is in the world of athletics, I really do would appreciate you passing on this information to them because I know it would help them as well. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you have not yet done so and hit the bell icon. I cannot stress that enough because even if I create a video and post it, you won't get notified unless you hit that bell icon. And the reason why you'd wanna do that is because this channel is all about helping you explore your possibilities and incorporating modern day technology that will help you along your journey as well. So thank you very much for tuning in everybody. Truly appreciate your time in watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below maybe what you thought. And as always, be blissful and we'll see you on the next video. Nithinandam.